Hi everyone. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to do professional color grading for your wedding video footages using DaVinci Resolve free app. Now you can see the result which you are able to reach follow my instructions. This video is definitely gonna be useful for those videographers who work on wedding events and would like to improve their skill. With just two steps and one tool in DaVinci Resolve we gonna make the most popular color grading in wedding photo and video editing industry. Also I will show you how to create a LUT or how somebody can call it preset that you are able to use anytime and in any other video editing application like After Effects or Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or even VN Editor on your mobile phone. And yes, we usually do tutorial for mobile phones, and this time we're doing something different, but also more informative. And there is not gonna be any passwords and stuff like that. So to get the LUT you have to make it by yourself this time. But if you don't have any opportunities to do this, I will mention later how you can get this LUT for free. So, enough talking, let's do it. I prepared some raw footages which I found on free video stock. Look at them. These are just regular, not really attractive videos of somebody's wedding. Let's do some magic now. As I said, and it's not a clickbit in this tutorial, we are going to use only one tool, and it is curves. First of all we gotta reduce saturation of each color. To make it happen go to saturation tab right here. And what next? Next we should click on this line and pull it down to the middle of the bottom part, around 25% of whole graph. Nice. This is a good point to start working on each color we got here. Let's select all colors right here to get them on our graph over here to correct every color separately. Click on the first point the correct red colors. We need red colors quite much cause it's a main color of any person's skin and mostly face of cause, because the rest of the body hidden under clothes. So with saving red color as much as possible we are going to highlight faces which is the main target in wedding photography. Let's bring it back, almost to the middle. And now let's put the rest colors a bit more down like I do except of magenta one. This way we'll get nice pink, almost unnoticeable, tint on her skin. And actually we are done with this saturation curve. Now let's move back and select the first tab right here which is custom one. This setting will help us to make all details, and especially faces, even more expressive, accentuate the bride's makeup. So let's make our shadows darker, by puling down right over here. And we should leave one point here to keep our mid-tones the same. And pull down right here a little bit as well. Nice, we're done. Looks much more expressive and deeper. And the last what I would recommend to do it is to put lights a bit up, right here. This way the dress of the beautiful bride is getting even whiter and cleaner. And actually our work is done now. Like I promised it was very simple. And for the most cases is definitely enough, but I would like to mention one more setting, that you can adjust up to your case, and its luminance. Pull it a bit up, if you want your image to be brighter. I recommend you just play with this setting till you got the best result for you. I'm just gonna leave it right here. It's completely enough for my case. Alright. Let's copy what we got by pressing Command C or Control C. Select another footage and press Command V over here. And it looks perfect here as well. I don't even want to change anything right here. Let's apply it for others, and see what we got. You can probably notice, that some of them look a bit different. 
This is because all these shots from different scenes with different light and background behind, shot with different cameras, however in the meantime all of them got much better and more professional, and that was our goal for today. Now when we done with our wedding color grading I will show how you can save it as LUT and easily use in the future. Let's click right button to get this menu and navigate to this section where you can see generate LUT options. Select the second one which is 65 point cube and save it as you wish and wherever you wish. To add this LUT into the LUT panel over here you should do next. Press this cog icon and select Color Management tab. Look for Lookup Tables section and press Open LUT Folder button here. Now you can choose any existed folder you create your own one, and paste you LUT right there. After that you need to update your current list of LUTs by pressing this button. Click Save Now. And let's check out our new, just created LUT. Go to the LUTs tab. Look for the folder, that you have just created. Here it is. And my folder right here. And our beautiful wedding LUT. Let's check it out on this shot. I'm gonna reset the node right here to get the original footage done. And let's apply the LUT. Perfect. As you can see it works just fine, and you can work with it very easy. So guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And now, as I promised, I wanna give some opportunity for those people who cannot create the LUT, or just don't want to spend the time doing so. So, guys, if you'd like to get the link to download this preset just support the channel by subscribing, leaving your like and comment. And if this video gets 500 likes and 100 comments during the week we will provide you the link to download this LUT. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end, we really appreciate it. See again in the next one.